Hey guys, and welcome back to yet again another video. Today I'm going to show you guys like how to beat the Riven against Teemo matchup. Now, first of all, before this entire video starts, guys, my voice is like completely messed up at the moment. So just saying that like straight up at the start of the video, guys. Um, anyways, specifically in this game, um, I'm going to be playing with the Prowler's Claw builds. The Prowler's Claw on Riven is currently a pretty good item. I would definitely recommend like Prowler's Claw into uh, certain matchups. Um, you can actually buy it. Once you buy it, you can just literally all in like most uh, matchups, such as like the Teemo one. Now, specifically this matchup, um, I'm taking a Dorn Shield in this matchup because Teemo pokes out a lot. Uh, we also have to keep in mind that he plays with Ignite and playing with Grasp, so it's a pretty aggressive matchup. So Dorch is pretty nice here. Uh, as for your wounds, we have the Conqueror Page into the Transcendence. Also taking the Gathering Storm. With Ability Haste, uh, Damage, and Magic Resists. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so the way how this matchup works is kind of like straightforward. You want to like freeze up this wave around this side of the lane as much as possible. You do not want to push into a Teemo, especially when he plays with Grasp, when he plays with Ignite and everything else. Uh, you want to be sitting here most of the time. You can trade him quite easily, actually. Like, whenever Teemo goes for a CS, uh, you can actually Q forward, like, twice. Do, like, a Q into, uh, like, auto into stun. There we go. Canceling his auto attack and then moving back out again. <clears throat> okay. We also have my jungler here right now. Uh, we can kill him right now. If he turns, then we can take him down. Nice. Okay, we got him. Now, a couple things to note about this matchup, guys. Um, in this kind of matchup specifically, uh, you want to focus around setting up the lane for ganks, right? Like, Teemo matchup is a pretty tough matchup in Season 11. Uh, of course, depending on how he plays it out. I think I'm just going to start off... Uh, I think I'm just going to start off taking this here. And there we go. Okay. Now, I'm doing this specifically for one reason, right? I'm getting the Lucidity Boots very, very early on. Uh, because I think I'm going to build this. And then straight up use that to row mid lane. Seeing if I can get a kill there instead. Uh, I could technically also rush like three long swords into Teemo as well. And then use that to play super aggressive. But I think if I rush boots, I think I can do a lot this game. I'll show you. Like rushing boots early on in the game allows you to position yourself a lot more easy in this matchup. But it also like allows you to row to mid lane quite easily. I'll show you how that's done. <clears throat> okay. For now we're gonna have to survive the the autos in this guy. It's definitely okay if Teemo takes like autos onto the turret in the early game. It's fine. Because especially early on there's still like a protection on it. He's also pushing down the lane without any vision right now, guys. Look at that. There's a control ward right down here. Completely taking the risk right here. I think we can probably take him down again soon. Okay. I'll take this for more and we're gonna go back now. Okay. I'm gonna I'm just gonna TP right now. As soon as I come in, I'm just gonna buy a long sword and then try to like all in this guy with Shavana. I'm gonna TP. Long sword. And here we go. Okay. Now we can take him down again. Using the brush so that we uh, don't tank up like another auto. Nice. Like, usually most emo players don't really play this aggressive, right? Uh, this demo player specifically, he's playing like super aggressive he's playing so aggressive he, he doesn't even place wards down uh this is why the lane hurts like so much 
Uh, usually though, like these kind of matchups is uh, it highly comes down to getting your power spike. Like around level six is when uh, Riven has got the power spike in this matchup specifically. So when we get to level six, we can beat him. Uh, but also, uh, the sooner we get the Prowler's Claw, uh, the more damage we will have. Uh, let me quickly buy this too. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this demo. I believe he hasn't placed a ward down here. He's probably just gonna push really hard again. Now, of course, uh, depending like... Um, Depending on the summoner spell you play with TP or Ignite, uh, this matchup is going to change a lot. But having the TP advantage is pretty huge this game. So we're going to go for the tower here. Like a quick trade. Backing up with shields. Very good. I'm going to trade him again here. Okay. Backing up again using my shield. And now we can actually all in him. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, I should just go level seven. Okay. I was about to kill him right there with my combo. Okay. Do like an under short trade. We got to level seven now. We can actually all in him. There we go. Like playing against the Teemo with Grasp and ignite is like really 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 tough to play against because um especially early on when you don't have enough damage yet to all in him uh he can just poke it out instantly and if he guides pretty if he guides very well uh it's really hard to take him down this match like depending on what team he plays with um it is pretty much like a Kind of like a farming lane uh, while setting up the lane for ganks and everything and taking it very easy on them until you reach your power spike. So uh, the power spike is level 6. Uh, it's also when you get the uh, Prowler's Claw as well. <clears throat> as soon as you get the Prowler's Claw or you get the Warhammer uh, including the Serrated Dirk. Uh, that's when you can all in him and despite having like uh, despite him having the ignite advantage you should always be able to win so right here we're gonna come back I'm gonna go for like a short trade again I'm gonna use my potions right away since we're going for, since we're about to all in this guy once more I can kill him in uh I can kill him in 15 seconds. Okay. I'm gonna stand like this. If he turns, I'll do like a stun again. Okay. I'm gonna charge my Q, so I'm about to all in him. He just get the auto from me. I'll have my E in 2 seconds, and I'm gonna all in him. And we got him. Sweet. Like, guys, this is the kind of way how you want to play against a Teemo, right? You want to take him down with patience. Uh, of course, once again, depending on what he plays with, right? Uh, this is probably by far the most aggressive Teemo that you will ever, ever face. Grasp with Ignite is just insane. You don't see it that much. <clears throat> okay, let's get back here. Okay, so we are getting pretty close to getting this item. We just need a bit more. Nice. Uh, I will also get... Uh, I think probably just get like one more longsword. Okay, good. Let's go back top again. We still don't have the Prowler's Claw yet, but like once we actually get this item, it's gonna be very, very easy. Um, 
to all in them. Nice. I think I could beat him. Even. Ah, uh, actually, never mind. I was gonna kill him right here, but I'd rather wait for my ultimate to come back first. Okay, I'm gonna kill him here. Thank you. Very good. Let's push down the next wave again. Lee Sin's currently bot lane, good to know. We can take the at least one plating here. Nice. We have another plating again. I'd like to push one more wave before we get back. Okay, very good. Let's make our way back. We're going to get the Prowler's Claw now. Honestly, guys, Prowler's Claw is a pretty broken item right now on a lot of champions. Uh, specifically, champions such as like Rek'Sai and, you know, even Riven, for instance. If we get this item and we have like a bunch of kills, uh, it's hilarious, man. We can s snowball like super hard with this item. Just have to use it. Uh, there's even a new combo with Riven as well with this item. It's just really broken. I've already had like multiple games with this item where I was able to snowball super easily. <clears throat> look at that. Look at that new combo. Thank you. You see the damage it has, guys. It is insane. <clears throat> Let's push it. Nice. Let's push it. Up. Let's actually get the turret. But yeah, this item, the new combo on this item is just broken. I've already made like a few really good plays for this item. Mm. Let's go to TP down there. Maybe we can do something. Oh, my team disengages when I want to go in. Ah, mm. oh, unfortunate. I was kind of like holding my combo for at least another six seconds before like doing anything so I could activate my item. But it would have been better if I just immediately came back and then all in that vein. Kind of my mistake. I played that a little bit wrong there, but it's fine. It's okay. Okay, so the next item you want to get afterwards um, kind of depends. You could get, you could just go for like a, a black lever in this one. A black lever specifically in this game is pretty good. Mm, after the black lever, I'll probably get a hydra. And then a Stark Gauge with Guardian Sinja afterwards. <clears throat> uh, we can take down the Teemo. Let's let him push towards me. I'm not sure what that Teemo is doing anyway. He's playing like super aggressive. Okay. Let's push up all the way. Uh, all the way to the turret. Nice, getting all of the farm right here. I can't wait to get my black lever soon. <clears throat> this team was already like 0 and 7. Hey, listen's here. We can take him down. Just go for it. Ah, uh, we got him. Orion has the ultimate. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, they're gonna chase me down all the way. Three seconds on my item. 
Ooh, I was gonna turn it with my item right here, but Timo was like, Timo was closing me in. Comes like a huge surprise that she was able to kite me down because of the face rush. If she actually did not have face rush in this game, uh, it would be a lot different. But like the, she, this procs like a couple times, like chased me all the way down here. Okay, I think I'm probably gonna head bottom next. Probably uh, depends on how this team is gonna push it out. <clears throat> I'm just going all in right away. As soon as I see him, as soon as I can use my item on him, I'll just go all in. Timo was here with his rooms. Okay. Uh, let's all in this guy. Thank you. This guy's like 0 and 8 right now. 0 and 8. Sure. We're getting huge on this Teemo. Let's get this wave as well. Uh, nice. I need like a little bit more. I need to get my black lever now, just get this game to, to get it done with. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> okay, very good. I got my black lever now. Uh, also, keep in mind that these guys are like full AP, Teemo and Orianna. <clears throat> I, th I could buy a Ma of the Malmorius in this one specifically. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to chase him. Or never mind. I got him. Thank you. Very good. Uh, let's see if we can kill this Lee Sin too. No. Actually, we can't kill that. Uh, we can't kill that Lisa. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this wave now. The dragon spawns right now as well, and they're gonna be grouping for it. They're currently doing it. I can't really stop them. <clears throat> but I can take this one. Uh, nice. I'm gonna kill that Fane again. She's probably gonna pass, I think. Uh, I think she knew they placed a the war down there. Okay, no problem. I'll be careful that they don't collapse with me here. <clears throat> uh, wait, wait, wait. Nice, there's a ward. I can't fight him because I know that there's others. Mm. No. I could fight him because I knew that these guys were right behind them. <clears throat> oh, whoops. We'll get back here. <coughs> okay. 
My next item is gonna be Ma of the Memorias, I think. This is gonna be great. Okay, here we go. Let's go mid. We're gonna beat them all. I'm pretty sure we can kill all of them. I think this guy's disconnecting. Nice. We got two of them. We got three of them. Okay. We're trading. Uh, we're trading three kills. Uh, for, for one right here. Uh, team is also top pushing right now. A kind of an unfortunate team fight. I could have been alive. It was very, very close. Also, my team is doing really, really bad here. Uh, they're not having the best game in the world, but despite that, uh, we are super fed. We are also really far ahead of them. We have like a two level lead over them right now. Which is huge. And we're also getting a Baron here. Okay, let's go bot lane. I've got my item. So we can just beat we can just beat Faye instantly. Uh I think he's gonna walk back. I don't think he's gonna bother. Or at least bother at all. Alright, Faye. I'm not sure. He's gonna get away. Okay, we got him in the end. Nice. <coughs> Let's get the, all of these camps here. Slowly rotate and take all of them. Okay, this one as well before uh, before the enemy jungle gets it. Very good. I'm gonna go top now. Uh, I nearly got my item. That team always like constantly split pushing this game. He barely even does anything for the team. Okay, team is there. Oh, okay. He lived for my item. Very good. I'm gonna go back now. I'll get my item and then TP mid. Nice, I'm on the way. Could definitely win everything in here. Hmm, she's proc in the face rush. Yeah, she procs the face rush and everything else. Hmm, we still got this guy. Oh, no, never mind. He's broken face rush too much. Okay. Let's get back again. We can't afford to lose that dragon though. It's gonna be the last dragon here. Uh, he's got no ultimate. He does have smite. Wait. Hmm. We could turn this one. I could I could have killed him on that back half back afterwards. Okay. I'm pretty low now. Let's we'll get this cabin and back up after him. Lee Sin's there. Okay, let's we get my item. Or, well, not my item. Uh, I think I'm probably just gonna go for a Hydra right now. I need something which is gonna give me some lifesteal, or I need something that's gonna help me become a little more tanky through the team fights. Uh, 
Okay. Let's hit them. Nice. I still have my item. Gotta be careful of Timo and Vayne. I'll just get back now. I think the best thing I could do now is simply to go for... Um, or, well, I could go for a Hydra. Let's take it. Uh, I'll be sending the Dorm Blade and just get a Longsword. Like, honestly, I like the Prowler's Claw item. I think it's really good for snowballing purposes. The only concern is that um, by going Gorge and Carry, you actually have like more sustain in T fights. Good turning, uh, like ability to turn things. Oh, it's me. Wow. Surprisingly enough, like, Teemo is staying 3 and 12 and is still destroying my jungler. Okay, let's get back real fast. Nice. I got, I got, I backed off there before they could see me. There's the support trying to trap us. Uh, hold on. Okay, here we go. Oh. I, I couldn't even do anything. I was being stuck completely. The only reason why we are losing this game is because um, besides have like besides my bot lane having the most terrible game ever, and my mid lane as well. We have no dragons. We are really fat. We are really strong. Uh, we could technically even kill all of them. The only concern is that they have like four dragons. We have no dragons. They've already got the fourth one. And this is why, like, all of them are doing too much damage. My AD carry is too far behind. My mid lane, everything's just too far behind. But the game is gonna. I think that the game is gonna end here. Yeah. Anyways, guys, it might have been a loss. Uh, but the Prowler's Claw, especially in a matchup like this one, is really good, guys. I definitely recommend items such as this one. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching today's YouTube video. Um, this game was being played off stream. You know, I'm not feeling well, so that's why. But anyway, guys, do not forget to check out my stream. If you guys actually want to see, like, you know, challenging Riven gameplay and all that stuff. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.